Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review video topic 9.8 on invasive species. So invasive species are going to be those that um, live and thrive that are not in their normal conditions and they tend to be considered invasive when they're threatening something that's more native to an area. And occasionally, once in a while, they can actually be beneficial. So uh, the typical um, the typical characteristics are that they tend to have generalist characteristics, right? They are selected so they outcompete really well. And then you it's good to know a couple of examples. So, you know, a good a couple of examples are some Great Lakes examples here, like the zebra mussels. Zebra mussels are little tiny clams that overfilter water, so they make it so that they outcompete most of the other uh, types of mussels in the area and um, make water very oligotrophic. And then you can have sea lampreys, which are very much like uh, salmon. They're anadromous. They live in the ocean, and then they breed in freshwater. Well, these guys move into freshwater once we connected the Great Lakes the Great Lakes to the Atlantic, and they came in and um, they are parasitic on those other fish. So um, it's good to know those example, examples. Um, and so obviously some of the methods to control your invasive species are going to be don't introduce them. Um, you can have chemical controls if they're plants, or you can have physical removal, um, or you can also introduce another control species. But it is important to know the downsides of all these. Introducing, um, obviously that's a difficult thing to do. Chemical controls, um, it's difficult to use these without, um, you know, harming the non-target species. Physical removal is very tedious and expensive, and so is introducing another control species. That can be expensive as well. So here's some other resources to help you. Hopefully these will be helpful, and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you very much.